everyone, how are you? I hope you all are fine. So in this video, we will discuss about plasma desmata. Okay, so let's discuss. So our first point is today we will discuss about plasma desmata. Plasma desmata. Okay. So our first point is. The name, the name proposed by, proposed by Stars Buck, Stars Buck in. The name proposed by uh, Strasbourg in uh, 90, uh, in uh, 90, 91. Okay. The name, uh, the name Mata uh, was proposed proposed by Strasbourg in uh, 1901. Okay. This is our first point. That the name proposed by Strasbourg in okay, uh, 1901. Okay. Now move to our next point. So our next point is these. These are. These are cytoplasmic. Collection These are uh, cytoplasmic connections between between two plant cell. Okay. So, and our next point is these are cytoplasmic connection between two uh, between two uh, adjacent plant cell. Okay, connection between two adjacent plant between uh, between two adjacent cell. Okay, so here is the change this figure that is here. Yeah. Here you can see that uh, this. One is cell. And uh, this figure is visible to me. And you can see that uh, this gap. Gap. This one is called plasmodesmata. Okay, and this one is cell, and this one is also a cell. Okay, and then now here you can see this figure. This one is also a plasmodesmata. Okay, this one is cell. This one is cell wall. This one is another uh, cell and this one is another cell. Okay, so this blue path known as same plastic pathway. Okay, this blue uh, this blue uh, path is so same. This blue color is same plastic pathway. Okay. It uh, move through cytoplasm, and uh, this one is the cytoplasm of uh, this cell, okay? And this one is the cytoplasm of another cell, okay? And this one is vacuum. This one green one is 
स्ट्रेल वॉल ओके एंड एपोप्लास्टिक पाथ है दिस येलो दिस वन इज This yellow part is known as apoplastic pathway. Okay, and uh, this one is cell wall. Through apo uh, apoplastic pathway through cell wall, it moves through cell wall. Okay, and uh, this is cell, and this gap is known as उटमोडसमाटा so now move our move to our next point plasmodes mata r characteristic of multicellular multicellular plants okay and uh, this one is our next point that uh, uh, that plasmodes uh, uh, are plasmodes mata are characteristic characteristic of multicellular plant cell plasmodes mata are characteristic of multicellular of plant cell i'm uh, sorry plant cell it means uh, plasmodes mata are <coughs> are uh, characteristic uh, of characteristic of multicellular plant cell okay so and uh, our uh, next point is that uh, they uh, they maintain right next point that is they maintain they maintain continuity continuity of cytoplasm Okay, so and our next point is 
E R E R tubules Desmotibules help to help to maintain help to <coughs> help to maintain continuity continuity of cytoplasm okay and uh, our next point is uh, that uh, er tubules er tubules the uh, er tubules move at this node Desmotibules <coughs> help to maintain continuity of plasma uh, sorry cytoplasm. Okay. The uh, ER tubules help to maintain continuity of cytoplasm. Like uh, here you can see that suppose that uh, um, this one. So one is a plant cell, okay. This one is plant cell and uh, plant cell, okay. And uh, this one is a nucleus. Okay. And uh, this one is plasma desmota. Okay. And uh, this one is what? Cytoplasm. This one is plasma dust matter. That uh, plasma dust matter help to uh, help to maintain the continuity of uh, cytoplasm. Okay. So suppose that uh, uh, suppose that uh, in uh, in uh, this one is A, this one is A cell and this one is B cell. So plasma dust matter help to transfer material from one cell to another cell. Okay. So I hope you understand this point also. Now, the uh, next point is algae have algae have cell wall. Algae have cell wall. Uh, this one is a special point. So. Okay, so this one is special point. This one is a special point. Okay, so our first point is I have. Algae have cell wall made of made of cellulose made 
biar D manners and manners and minerals like calcium calcium and calcium carbonate okay so this one is a here is a special point that algae are cell wall made of cellulose uh, galactans and uh, mammals and uh, minerals like calcium carbonate okay mineral and minerals like calcium carbonate okay so algae have a cell wall and it is made up of uh, Uh, cellulose, uh, cellulose, uh, galactan, and uh, mammals and uh, minerals like uh, car, uh, uh, carbon, sorry, calcium carbonate. Okay. So this one is our first point, and uh, next point is that in other plants. It consists. It consists of cellulose, hemicellulose, hemi. Peptidoglycans, uh, or you can say also uh, mycopeptide. Uh, pep, uh, mycopeptide. Okay, so mycopeptide. Okay, so bacteria cell wall mainly composed of peptidoglycan. Okay, peptidoglycan uh, uh, means uh, uh, means uh, polysaccharide. Polysaccharides plus amino acid. Okay, peptidoglycan. Here we write. Polysaccharide. Polysaccharides plus amino acid. Amino. 
acid. Okay, so bacterial cell wall mainly composed of uh, mainly composed of peptidoglycan. It means uh, polysaccharides uh, plus amino acid. Okay, and uh, plant cell wall made up of uh, ma uh, mainly made up of uh, cellulose, hemicellulose, pectin or pectin, and you can say what protein. Okay, pectin and protein, and uh, and uh, algae have cell wall made up of uh, Cellulose, uh, cellulose, uh, cellulose, glactate, cellulose, uh, cellulose, glactans, mammans, and minerals uh, like calcium carbonate. Okay, and our next point is, and our next point is. fungi is composed the cell wall of fungi the cell wall of fungi is composed of composed of chitin and polysaccharides polysaccharides and uh, cell wall of fungi and uh, cell wall of fungi is composed of chitin and polysaccharides it means uh, uh, the fungi cell wall is composed of uh, pap polysaccharides and uh, chitin okay and uh, and uh, uh, okay so the plant cell the plant cell wall of fungi the cell wall of uh, fungi is uh, composed of chitin and uh, polysaccharide and uh, the and uh, the bacteria of uh, and uh, the bacterial cell wall made up of uh, polysaccharide plus amino acid uh, name is uh, uh, name is a uh, 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 name is uh, you can say uh, peptidoglycan okay and uh, in uh, other and uh, in other plant it is consist uh, uh, the cell wall is uh, consist of uh, cellulose uh, cellulose heavy cellulose pectin and uh, protein and in uh, algae have have cell wall made of, made of uh, cellulose uh, uh, glactans mammans and minerals like calcium carbonate okay so and uh, and uh, uh, and uh, the cell wall of fungi is uh, is composed of chitin and polysaccharide okay and our Next and last point that is Archaeobacteria Archaeobacteria differ from other bacteria in having a different cell wall structure and uh, its features is responsible for their sur survival in extreme in extreme condition 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 Okay, so archaeobacteria differ for uh, other bacteria in having a uh, in having a diff uh, in, uh, in having a in having a different cell wall structure and uh, this feature uh, and this feature is responsible for uh, their survival in extreme condition. Okay, uh, and uh, our next point is. Dinoflagellates. Dinoflagellates cell wall has stiff cellulose. Cellulose. 
cellulose plate. Dinoflagellate cell wall has a stiff cellulose plate on a, on the uh, on the what we can say on the outer surface. In the outer surface. Okay. And the dinoflagellate cell wall has a st uh, stiff cellulose plate. Uh, dinoflagellate cell wall stiff cellulose cellulose is stiff cellulose okay plates on the outer outer surface okay and uh, and uh, dinoflagellate cell wall having uh, ha has a stiff uh, uh, cellulose cellulose plate on uh, uh, on its outer surface. Okay, on on the outer surface. Okay, and our last point is in. Sorry, sorry. In in Euglen wide in steep in steep of a cell wall. wall the the have a protein rich rich layer layer called 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 palisade, okay. Which in euglenoid state of a cell wall, the uh, the have uh, the have a protein protein rich layer called palisade. They have. They have they have a protein rich layer called pellicle which 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 makes makes their their body flexible. Okay, in the euglenoid, yeah, in euglenoid instead of cell wall, in euglenoid instead of cell wall, they have a protein rich layer called pilis pilisi. Okay. Which makes their body flexible. It means if you know why have a uh, have a uh, have uh, have a cell wall. Have not have they not have cell wall. Okay, they have a protein rich layer called pellicel which make uh, which make their body flexible. Okay. So I hope you understand in the video about the plasmodesmata okay so plasmodesmata
story. Plasmo Desmata. Uh, Plasmo Desmata, the name proposed by Stashberg in uh, 19, 91, 91, 19, sorry, 1901. They are cytoplasmic co uh, connection between two adjacent plant cells. Okay. They are cytoplasmic uh, connection between two plant cells. Like here, you can see in this figure that uh, they connect. Cytoplasmic connect with each other cell, adjacent cells. Okay, so I hope you understand all the video. That's all for today. Thank you. Have a nice day.